Good morning, friends. Today, I wanted to just share a day in the life vlog. It's been several weeks since I have done that, so I kind of just shared a little bit of my morning, what I do when I get up at 5.15 or 5.30, just with being able to get my quiet time in, um, get myself ready, read God's word, do a little exercising. I think it takes some I think it takes some discipline. It's not just always motivation, but it's a habit, something that you have to start and practice and keep doing. I haven't always been this way, especially when I was nursing through the night and was tired in the mornings, but I think it's just important for myself personally um, to be able to set my mind and my body and my spirit right for the day and have all of that stuff done before I even prep breakfast. So it is a beautiful September day. It's the first of September filming this and it has the nice 60 degree morning with then it's spiking to like mid nineties all this week. So I'm ready for sweater weather. I don't know if you guys are too, but it's time for fall I feel. And today I'm gonna be doing a little fall decorating at our little cottage, just a few small touches. I also, um, I'm gonna be gone this weekend doing a rummage with some family. So I need to finish pricing a few things and just gonna share whatever this day brings. So it's just going to be come along with me and enjoy. touches to the cottage just like a pumpkin throw a different towel a few extra um just pumpkiny touches i guess over there just from some old decor i have because i don't really decorate like that in my house but um just in some faux flowers and stems in the bathroom too i'm gonna add a mum and a pumpkin outside too later today but i'm gonna price some clothes for the rummage and get that done that my husband went through and a couple shirts i had myself and I'm gonna use this pricing gun. Um, my husband has some stuff in a booth that he uses a pricing gun for. So this is really handy. It goes very, very fast. So I'm just gonna use this and get some of these clothes priced.
timing. I want to see if I can't get some of these stains off. I don't recall them being here before and I was looking at the couch and saw them. So I'm going to try this to see if it will help get some of those off and we'll see if it actually works or not. this one too that's been there I think for a while this couch is about oh we got it secondhand to a hundred or for a hundred dollars with the love seat we have so I want to say we've had it for six years and then someone else had it for oh multiple years before that and they had pets so it just has some stains and it lived us well I don't recommend new furniture when you have little kids either got the outdoor mom and pumpkin in front of our cottage and just did a little bit more tweaking in the inside space after lunch here when the girls are down for a nap and I went and picked a few beans. I have some we'll have to take care of after we get back from um, my family's for the rummage. So I'll just show you what beans I got here. So I just got like a handful of green beans and then I have this whole container of other ones. So my beans have been really producing well and I just pick them and they all grow back and yeah there's some like little grasshopper marks but I just snap that part off I'll probably can when I get home and get some extra beans from our local Hutterite colony too so I have enough to pressure can but yeah I'll have to definitely snap some of those pieces off but they should last in the fridge for a couple of days until I get home to do that once a month and I'm actually like two months behind just with summer I haven't gotten to it because I want to add some fall decor to my counters a little more than I have might change out that scale that I usually have in the corner and put like my KitchenAid mixer there I'm not sure I might just play around with it a little bit I think I do hear one daughter waking up so we'll see how far I get on this if I don't get it done hey that's okay I'm not too worried about it. I can always just put things back and add and take away as the days progress. And that's a fun thing about decorating and curating different items that you want to put in a space is you just add it and take away and change it up and let it sit for a few days. And if you don't like it, then remove it, put something else in there. So I'm going to experiment a little bit. This does have to dry for about 30 minutes. So um, I'm just going to experiment and put a few things here and there. So I'm gonna get some supper prepped. I didn't fully get the kitchen counter how I want it yet. Um, but I do kind of like this setup here and I could make a cake stand out of this if I find an old wood candlestick. I thought that would be cute. And then just have the scale here. I'm sorry, I'm getting ready for all the packing and stuff and I made an Americano there. Um, so I'm just working on supper. I am doing the TikTok pasta. I have tried this already and it's really good. Good way to use up cherry tomatoes. So it's like cherry tomatoes, olive oil, uh, garlic, a block of feta, but I just used some goat cheese we get from Costco. I'm gonna throw some mushrooms in, some red onion from the garden, 
and then um, just some, I have garlic there, but I'm just gonna use this roasted garlic right now. And then some seasoning, some fresh thyme and rosemary, and it'll be delicious. And then just put it on some einkorn or whole wheat pasta. You can put meat in it. I don't know if I will or not this time, but very simple. Supper was delicious. I went out and picked some tomatoes before we're gonna go. So I even picked them like a little bit early because grasshoppers have been really bad this year. So uh, I don't want them to start eating on them. So I picked them a little bit early and just I'll set them out till ripen. And I don't refrigerate my tomatoes anyways, unless I don't want them to ripen as fast. So I picked this entire basket of produce. I have some nice large peppers too right here, but um, I'm going to make myself some tea. I've been enjoying. I'm moving a lot here. I've been enjoying this caffeine free, sweet and spicy. I've had it almost every night. It's so good. And um, I'll just link it in the description box on Amazon. That's where I got a four pack from. I thought you would enjoy today and hope you did enjoy today. And maybe I'll finish um, cleaning up the kitchen here as well while I enjoy my tea. Here.